I am here. I'm just getting the tablets sorted as usual. It's always the thing that plays up the most. I don't say I've got poor connection again. It's not going to let me do that. Right, so my Wi Fi is on. So I shouldn't get charged for that, which should be a bonus. Hi, Kylie, thank you for popping along. <laughs> I was just making sure my Wi Fi was um, working. Don't want to get charged for this. Sorry, my allergies are playing up. Changing weather's not helping. How's your week been, Kylie? Hope your mum's doing better. Thanks for understanding that I couldn't do last week. I was just so washed out. I just was sort of nodding off, so it wouldn't have been wouldn't have been the best of videos. I don't know why I keep saying I've got a poor connection because my internet's absolutely fine. Oh, two people here. So who else has popped along? Oh, I'm glad she's doing better. I'm glad your mum's doing better. Uh, YouTube's buffering. <laughs> At least I can see the chat, so that's something... Yeah, I just thought uh, I'd come on and do some more Christmas cards, try and get some more stuff on Etsy. So, um, yeah, that's the thing. When you're looking after somebody, um, you do get, <coughs> excuse me, tired yourself. I know I do. Um, I'm just not quite right at the um, moment. So I did have a bit of a power nap before coming on. So I charged myself up a bit and then I planned to... Have a nice soak in the bubble bath and um, unwind a bit. Yeah, I don't know why it's buffering. It's buffering on my tablet, so maybe the in, um, connection's not that great. So, um, But I can see the chat, so that's the main thing. So, yeah, I've prepped a load of cards to make. And but one thing that is annoying me, it's only small, but I think... There's something stuck under my fingernail and it's really sore. <laughs> so I'm hoping having a soak in the bath to get whatever's um, in it out. Um, it's a lot cooler down my way, so I expect it's quite cool with you now. Yes, um, I try to be organised. I think a lot of that's... Um, to do with my health like from a young age I had to know what medication I was taking and stuff like that so um, yeah I had to you know grow up quickly and stuff and I do like to be organized and things yes I've got some more items I need to list next week on Etsy I sort of what I have one day in a week where I just list stuff so it gives me time to make things and list it and I brought some more books today yeah <laughs> a bit naughty but I got three books for four pounds and one of the books brand new was 18 quid so I can't see that I've gone wrong there <laughs> oh well done for my link so I've got three people watching so whoever else is watching please feel free to say hello Kylie and I don't bite we're not that bad well I don't think we are <laughs> all right What am I looking for? Bone folder. So I've got some bling and... What did I do with... Oh, I knew I'd got something else out. Some embellishments. <laughs> I did not think where I'd put them. Yeah, we had a bit of rain yesterday, but it's... um, It's just a lot cooler. And I always feel the cold being on warfarin. So I'm still using my hunky dory cards, but I'm trying to get Christmas a Christmas section up together on Etsy. 
Yeah, I agree, Kylie. They shouldn't. They should join in. We're not that bad. Um. Oh, I'm gonna have to lift up tape with this because my nails have cut them quite short, so I can't peel up the tape. I'm hoping the light's not too bad in here. I've got the curtain closed, otherwise. Oh, hi, Dawn. <laughs> Yeah, so, um, yeah, I'm not enjoying the colder weather. Typical. Cut my nails short and then I can't lift anything up. If I don't do the insert first, I'll forget. And I just find it easier when it's in. Yeah, as I was saying with my... Sorry, my own brain fogging today, so I'm going from different subjects. I... Um, yeah, I'm trying to get my Christmas section up together because what I plan to do October till December, I hope to have a three month um, sale. So everything I have like a certain price off. So I thought, well, I'll try and get some stuff up together because sometimes I can't use my craft room in December because I use it for storing things in. But hopefully I won't need to this year. I can use the spare room to um, store stuff in because I know it's really weird talking of Christmas now but I'll be spending Christmas with my parents so they won't um, brain come on get in gear so um, yeah I'll be spending it with them so it means I won't have to store stuff in here because they won't be staying here I'll be staying with them so hopefully I can get some crafting done because normally coming up to Christmas if they're staying with me I have to put everything in here and then I can't craft for the whole of December well I can do my crochet but I can't do my paper crafting because it's like a bomb site in here so oh I didn't put that on very well at all let's see if I can take that off I didn't do my usual little trick. <laughs> oh no, I ate earlier. I um, had, not like a pot noodle thing, but it was a little pasta dish thing. I, I'm not a huge eater, so no, I did eat before I came on. Um, so I had like a little pasta pot noodle thing, which actually was really nice. And then I was naughty and um, had some jelly bellies. Oh, I love my jelly bellies. You know, um, they're a treat for me because I only get them when I go in Morrison's. And that's actually where I got the books from. I'm going to pop that there. And I know you can't always see low down, so I will get in the habit of bringing cards up. So, yeah, it says, a little smile, a will... will Oh, let's try that again. A little smile, a word of cheer, a bit of love from someone near, a little gift from one how dear, best wishes for the coming year. So it's quite a nice little sentiment that. And I know I have got, I can find them. Aha. Some little because I just feel this needs a little something else so yes getting ahead on the Christmas cards hi Margie <laughs> oh just to say um, if you're asking me anything directly or wanting to say something directly to me could you put it in caps it just makes it easier for me to know it's directed to me right um because otherwise i think you're chatting to each other it's not too bad if there's just like when it was just kylie and i i could keep an eye on the chat thank you <laughs> thank you margie you're a real star how are your cats how are your cats doing margie let's put that up there oh that's reminded me i need to make envelopes for these cards so for the card base on these ones, so I've used actual hunky-dory card scrap, card scrap, card stock. I haven't been drinking, I promise you, I haven't been drinking. Yes, caps, not caps you wear, Kylie. <laughs> 
Sorry, I couldn't resist that. Oh, it makes me laugh when I see you on um, Jessica's chat and you're um, taking the mick out of Brooke, Margie. It does crack me up. I haven't managed to um, watch one of her lives for a little while. I've um, actually been getting some sleep, which makes a great change. But I do hope to try and catch um, Jessica's Sunday one. So I can't remember what size I cut these down to. Where's my ruler? That's weird. Oh, there it is. It's because I put it in a different pocket. So what size did I cut these to? I think, yeah, five and a half by five and a half square. And I've just used, because the order of this has gone to pox, I dropped them all on the floor when I wanted to put them away. <laughs> That's really weird, because my video is still buffering. So like me watching myself on my tablet so I can see the chat, it's gone really weird. So I might have to go back into myself. No, it's not going to do it that way. Um, so I don't know why it's gone all funny there. So, yeah. Yeah, I'm just going to refresh my own page, but I can't refresh on the... Um, I can't refresh on the phone, I don't think. I don't think I can. That's why I'm playing with the tablet. <laughs> oh, you were saying refresh to... See, I'm trying to... Oh, Dawn's lovely. Yeah, Dawn's videos from Let's Oh, Let's Make a Mess. Her, yeah, her videos are really fun. Oh. Such a pain. You don't realise how much you use a certain finger or hand until you actually damage something. So I'm really praying I don't have to go to the doctors or A and E. Because we don't have walk-in clinics anymore. We used to have, like, um, the walk-in. Oh, thanks, Dawn. Um, walk-in sort of, like, not A&E, but, you know, like, little triage centres. And we haven't got them anymore. So if you have something minor and your GP or the nurse can't do it, you have to go to A&E, which is a pain in the what's it. So, um... Yeah, I'm just hoping my finger has sorted itself out, but it's certainly um, throbbing. <laughs> I'm not normally a wimp, but this is really annoying me. Right, and the message on this one, it's the most wonderful time of the year. Yes, I'm Christmas nuts. I am. Um, I'm a big Christmas fan. Yes, I am keeping an eye for infection. That's another reason I'm going to have a really nice hot bath so I can give my hand a good soak and if it's no better then um, I'll get mum to take me because obviously with a heart problem I've got to be um, rather careful so um <laughs> so and it's a lot hotter than, than my other fingers so I know it's not right now, I'm not going to... I just love that image. See, I'm being good now. I'm lifting up each card. <laughs> but yeah, I love this hunky-dory. I'm still on this snowy kit. Yes, yeah, Christmas. Yeah, love it. Big kid me. Plan to get worse as I get older. <laughs> There's a garden centre not far from me. And... I suppose it's about, I'm trying to think, maybe half an hour, just over half an hour from me. And they have reindeer there, so you can go up to them and the kids can have their um, photographs taken and things like that with them. So it's really sweet. So I try to get mum to take me there, not every year, but um she takes me and have the photo take a photograph and then we have a bit of lunch a bit of christmas shopping so it's um 
a nice outing so I might get her to do it this year because we haven't been there for a couple of years so um, see the reindeer do a bit of shopping have some lunch and they've also got the Edinburgh woolen mill shop that's not and I uh, really like their country rose range so yeah mum and I like the Edinburgh woolen mill shop and we've actually got um like Wilton Village and that's not far from um from where my dad works and they've got a large Edinburgh woolen mill there so um, yeah we've got to have some mother and daughter time and bless my dad he works for himself so it's difficult for him to get time off Yeah, he's um, doing his hill climb this weekend, so he's hoping the weather stays fairly dry. Yeah, I think I think wild UK wildlife. Well, mind you, most wildlife is um, pretty special. I um yeah, I'm a big animal lover, apart from insects and stuff like that i'm not um not a big fan of creepy crawlies i've had three massive spiders in my home this week and the cats have been hopeless they have not been doing their bit of getting rid of them i just need to turn that that way yeah they've not been doing their bit of getting rid of spiders i've had to um squash them <laughs> Oh, I, I don't know what sort of spiders they are, Kylie, but they are not welcome in my home. They stay outside and they're safe. Come indoors and I'm sorry, but the rule is they get squashed. <laughs> I've told them many a times, stay outside and you will be safe. Come indoors and you get squashed. And they just don't listen to me. <laughs> oh no, I, I'm sorry, Kylie, I do have to squash them. I get my slipper or a shoe and they have to be squished. They have to, um, they have to go. They are not, not welcome. Right, so let's pop that there. So I'm talking to myself now. I think I'm living on my own. Yes, I'm sorry. Squashed spiders. <laughs> The cats should do their job then and eat them. <laughs> oh, we used to have one cat called Purdy. She was lovely. We rescued her from the RSPCA. And she was brilliant at catching things. She brought in bats, um, an adder, snakes. <laughs> yeah, she was a real good hunter. Gonna go there. Ow, that was on my bad finger. That's not funny. And this one says delivered by reindeer mail. And that's that's the image for that one. Yeah, I I'm quite enjoy doing my paper craft videos live. I'm actually thinking I might do more live videos because it's just so much quicker than videoing and then uploading it and if I do certain videos I've then got to join them together and stuff so I'm actually thinking I might do a lot of my videos live so that's that one finished <coughs> Oh, thanks, Kylie. I don't mind them. I'm just not brave enough to pick them up and put them out. Because <laughs> I'm a big baby. Okay, I might be 41, but I'm a big baby. No, I'm not 41 yet. I'm making myself a year older and I'm not there yet. <laughs> There's a lot of reindeer cards here, so um, I'll have to make sure I spread them out when I put them on Etsy so not everybody 
whoever buys that pack doesn't just end up with um, reindeer cards. Um, yeah, I'm going to make some, I think I'm going to have a quiet day tomorrow. I've got to get a shawl finish, do my do a crochet video, because I haven't done one of them for a while, otherwise Elizabeth from Never Hopeless by Elizabeth and be nagging me again to um, do one. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that's my plan tomorrow and also have a lie-in. Hi Carol. Yes, yeah, my paper craft video this week I thought I would do live. I thought it'd be a bit different. So I thought I'd um do it live. It's good to catch up with you. How are you doing, Carol? Because I haven't seen you for a little while. Right. Okay. There. What a roll up these shirts. I wonder if I could pull them up a bit. Keep getting in the way. But I don't want to roll them up too much because I am, like I said, I am so cold. But I don't want to put a cardi on yet. <laughs> Come here. So I'm finding all sorts of stuff now. You wouldn't think I hoovered my um, craft floor. It looks a mess again. Bits of paper everywhere. It's really old, um, Kylie. It's a Marks and Spencers one, and it's really old. I got it from the outlet shop, but I like it for crafting in because I don't mind if I get paint on something on it because, like I said, it's pretty... Pretty old now. Right, do I want that there? And that there, or more decisions? Or that there, and that there. I think I'll do that one. It's um got, I can put it up to three quarter lengths, but it's just easier just to roll it up and hope it stays up. Um. Yeah, I'm not sure what I'm going to be doing this week. I know I've got um, an appointment. So that's in the afternoon because I need my lions at the moment. <laughs> early starts are not me. Yeah, I've never been an early riser, but I've never needed an alarm clock either. Oh. Well, you had to cancel going to Cornwall, um, Carol. Right. There. Now. No, I think I'm going to leave that one. Okay, that's that one. So I'm just trying to find room. Right, now this is a decoupage one. So I need some foam pads. Oh, right, <laughs> sleeves down and if they get in the way, they get in the way. <laughs> Otherwise I'll have a paddy. <laughs> okay, now, oh, I didn't do that then. Why is it still in there? I didn't do an insert for that one. What a plum I am. I'll have to remember to do that. I thought I'd put an insert, but I didn't, because I'm a wally. I just love the shades in this card. I don't know if it's showing. Oh, it does. Yeah. All the different shimmers. It's like the northern lights. I did have a lady a little while back message me on my Etsy from the States and um, it's not the same would I send her something. I was like, yeah, I'm quite happy. Even offered doing a cheaper price, but it meant it would take a 
month to get there. Yeah, it is like the Northern Lights, um, Kylie, very much so. Um, I never heard anything really weird. I went out of my way to look up all the prices and even asked if my mum could send it cheaper using her courier. And I thought, you know, it takes an... I know, like, a lot of us on here will know, it takes an awful lot of time to make something. You know, you spend your own money making, um, getting the supplies. And I just thought, I was doing a really good deal. It was when my sale was on, and I just thought, so I haven't heard any more from her, so... Guess she didn't like all the hard work I did. So that's going to go about there. So am I the only one that's getting ahead for Christmas or have any of you else started? I might have asked that a little while back. And I hope you're all behaving. Right, let's get the bits out for this. And I think I'm going to use that message. So this is why I left it whole, because it's an like, actual decoupage sheet. And that one can go in my little stash of Christmas messages. So right, I'm just trying to get... I haven't done a decoupage thing for ages, so it's trying to remember how to do it all. I know, people just don't seem... Unless you make things yourself, I don't think people really understand just how much work goes into it. And like the junk journals I make, they take they take like a week to just do one. And I had 15% off as well. Good to hear, Margie. You can have brownie points for starting your Christmas cards. <laughs> and I thought I had 15% off, so it made the journal quite a good price for what I'd put into it. And I just thought, oh. So I thought, no, I'm not going out of my way anymore. I would obviously combine postage if people were buying more than one item, because I think that's just a fair thing to do. I think um, I've always thought about Christmas because I had a lot of, um, growing up, a lot of um, Christmases in hospital. So I always made sure my Christmas cards were done and then we would have had Christmas whenever I came out of hospital. Right, let's move those bits out of the way. Get the base. Right, so it's that one and that one and that one. Sorry, I'm muttering now to myself. Right, this is a big piece. And this card I'm actually going to keep for my own use because it's decoupage. It'll obviously be bulky to um, post. I'm going to have to get... Oh, I'm so going to have to get another little lamp in here so I've got a bit more light because this is a horrible light in here it's really yellowy because I did some stamping for some tags I made and I thought I'd used white card and it's not it's cream <laughs> looks all right but I thought it was white <laughs> oh yes I mutter away but yeah um let me see if I can get, get them without knocking anything over I made some of these um, Christmas tags which I'll be listing and the little one in the middle with the black I thought that was white card and it wasn't it was cream but in the middle it doesn't look too bad so I've made a lot of them so they'll be eventually getting on there Try not to chop my fingers because that would just be my luck at the moment. Oh, I had real fun with my um, food shop this week. Started unpacking it and I thought, crumbs, I can smell fabric softener. Got to the bottom of like the tray they deliver it in and 
yeah, the whole bottle of my Lenore had leaked. It was just, oh. So a lot of my shopping had to go back. So I had to go out today and replace the stuff that was all damaged. Oh, that's that sounds great, um, Margie. I've never actually um, brought from Etsy myself. Obviously, I sell on there, but I've never brought from there. So um, there's a couple of people I want to buy from, but until my money, my credit card is in a big fat mess. It really is, and I need to um, get it sorted because um, next year we've got a few things nice things coming up so I need to um, save my pennies for that and um, try and sort Mr Credit Card out. <laughs> that's in a big fat mess. Oh that's good. Um, so yeah I am, um, like I said there's a couple of people I want to order from like Crafting Vicky I want to order some things from her. I've never done AliExpress either so um that's something I want to try, but like I said, until Mr. Credit Card is um, in a bit of a better shape, not so fat and heavy, and a lot thinner, um, my craft spending is definitely on hold. That's another reason I'm trying to make so many different things to try and catch people's eyes on there. Uh, I love die cut decoupage. I just can't cut out um, fussy things anymore. So die cut decoupage, love it. <laughs> Makes life a lot easier. I'll use that bit then if you're going to fall on my lap. There's so many little bits of paper on my floor again. It's, I don't know how I can miss my bin. It's a fairly good size and I keep missing it. <laughs> Yeah, I was so chuffed when um, Crafting Vicky brought one of my um, journals. First one to go abroad. I was like, oh, <laughs> like a big kid. <laughs> uh, right. Yeah, this is going to be a very chunky card. I used to use um, pin flare glue. But I haven't you um, haven't had that for a while. Got quite hard to get hold of. So what have you all got? Yes, the layers are um, really lovely. Um, oops. Uh, they're, um, it is a really nice card. It's I like wintry scenes. All right, let's put that bit there. It's how I sort of wish our Christmases were a bit more. <laughs> Only for a couple of days, but we said that last week. We said that a little while ago, didn't we? That... Um, a lot of us only wanted snow for a couple of days. Yeah. With my bad eyesight, I'm not doing bad. I don't think I'm going to put the little extras on. Because that's going to make it really bulky. Or do I? No, I'm not going to put the extras on. I don't have to. They can go in my junk box. Right, let's get this back out. And... Oh, that's going to get lost on there. That's going to get lost. I didn't plan that very well. wonder what I've got that I could put underneath. Ah, I shouldn't put that on. I should have put some ribbon on. You twit. <laughs> oh, that sounds awful not being able to get the car out. Right, so if I go like that, what have I got that I could put underneath there? Just got an idea. I might be a sec. So I just remembered I had um, some doilies, and because this has got a slight pinkish tone in it, I think I'm going to add a pink doily. But I think there's two here together. Aha! I was right. 
So let's add this doily and then that'll make that just pop a bit more. Oh, um, used to get snowed in where we used to live as um, kids because we were right down the bottom of the hill. So if that got, if we got snowed in, there was no way to get out, which is, as kids, we loved it. Oh yeah, plum. Yeah, I'm a plum. It's a term my um, best friend used to use a lot. Um, and it just sort of stuck with me. But unfortunately, um, she... Um, passed away when she was 40 she's been gone 10 years now but we were like two peas in a pod and she always used to if her dad was being um a wally she used to call him a plum <laughs> and it just sort of sticks <laughs> you know yes podcast i'm hoping to do sunday carol oh so that's to either tomorrow or monday just depends on how I'm feeling, but yeah, I'll definitely be doing a crochet video because I haven't done one for a while. Oops, it's got a mind of its own now. Oh, I'm glad I put that doily on there because it's just made, um, let's just use that little bit of foam pad. It's just made things pop a bit. It just needed that little something. So that's that one. And of course, this has got like a seal for Mary to it. says, try not to blind you all. Right, where's the envelope? Oh, thank you, Dawn. Oh, that's really sweet. Um, at home, um, in the living room, and I just used my ordinary camera, and then I just uploaded it, um... Kylie, so I just upload it as an ordinary video. I'm no good at doing a talk over, I haven't learned how to um, do that. So it's just a little video, they're not overly long or anything like that. They're just sometimes they're only like five minutes long, but yeah, in my living room, I do my podcast, it's just easier. And I put the crochet, I've got a show next to me. Oh, no, no, it's not. It's not live at all. I suppose I could do one live, but it'd be um, it'd be a bit of a short one. <laughs> no, I um, don't do that live. I can't crochet. I can crochet and like chat to a group of friends because I can look down and do it sort of thing. But. Um... Oh, that is pretty wonky. What is wrong with me? Oh, well, it's going to have to stay stuck down like that. Oh, am I... No, it's not. It's not going to come up. That's pretty wonky on there. Well, these little ones are for charity, so I'm sure they'll appreciate my wonkiness. No, no, you haven't missed anything, Kylie. Um, no, my crochet videos are not live. I wouldn't be able to do it, you know, crochet and try and keep an eye on the chat and I'd end up making a mistake and then I'd be cross because I'd have to unpick it. <laughs> so now I just sort of show what I've made or any yarn purchases. I've actually been given some wool this week, so it's been um, rather nice. So yeah, these dinky cards, these little square ones are the... Um, giving direct to a charity um the local charity where i live i'll give them i normally give them a great big bag full of cards because they um do the food bank you might have heard of them the trussell trust crochet is really easy kylie um it certainly is margie it's very difficult to crochet and chat at the same time it's normally something I do in the evening, in front of the telly. And I taught my mum to crochet. Yeah, so I taught her to crochet. So that's just a little dinky one that would be going off to the local charity, which I, yes, the Trussell Trust. And they help with brain again. They, you know, they help with the homeless, they do food banks, they do 
a shoebox appeal um and i can't and i think it goes out to not belarus but something else that sort of area and they send out shoe boxes so i like to do that Yeah, I like to do my crochet in the evening. I find it relaxes me and then I go to bed, read a book for a little bit. So I seem to be getting my sleep pattern back. Oh, thanks, Kat. Oh, Carol's really nice. Yes, no, I am. Um, promise I'm going to really try to do... Um, crochet videos more often because I know I've got a bit slack with it but I do I'm really going to try and get back into doing it it's just some of the things I were making were taking so long I was thinking mail it's an odd time to have mail at eight o'clock at night but of course I forget you're not in the UK Margie I was like thinking, weird time to sort mail out. <laughs> Comes I'm getting three of these um, cards quickly again tonight, and I sorted out more than last time. Um. And so I'm trying, yet again, trying to think what to do for next week's um, live. I'm trying to think of something a bit different to do. Oh, afternoon. Yeah, see, it's ten past eight in the evening here. <laughs> Let's just put that little one there i got that little one no really margie's name's treble <laughs> you want to see her when she's chatting to um brooke those two are treble on a on a live together <laughs> mind you i think we're all a little bit of trouble you've got to have a bit of trouble in you i think be good all the time life would just be very dull so I think I've only got a couple more sheets in the snowy theme and then I'll be on to a different theme I can't take it's I suppose it's a little it's not OCD but I like to be like I said organized and I can't take some images out of one theme and another theme I like to finish off a theme or a kit before I go into another one. Oh, Jessica. Well, I think Jessica's a bad, bad influence on us all. I've got a list now of things to look up on eBay because she keeps showing things and I'm like, oh, I'd like that. So I've put up some things on my pin board in my office. So when I do get some pennies, I can go on eBay and get some of the things she's mentioned like that sari silk and the bulb pins so yeah there's a few other things and stuff so yeah I, I'm going to blame her when I um, get things but I was looking up to get some Reader's Digest books because I noticed she's got quite a lot lately and they won in the UK £10 a book so I think that's like $13 a book and I think I'm not paying $13 for a book that I'm going to take apart. It was just like, that's taking the mickey now. <laughs> yeah, she's definitely that, uh, Margie. She's definitely one to encourage us all to shop. But then I'm a shopaholic anyway, so it doesn't take a lot to... Um, sort of tempt me and I saw these books today I was like oh and my mum was like no you've got enough projects to work on I was like 
Yeah, but these books are really good price and it goes to charity, so I didn't feel terribly bad for it, really. Yeah, big shopaholic. So for me to be on a craft ban for quite a while now, um, I suppose I'll be on a craft ban for a good few months. So, um, yes. <laughs> Um, needs must. These horrible things called bills keep cropping up. Right. That's going to go there. Well, it is now. <laughs> and then the message for this one is flake a wish. Oh, yummy flake. Mm. No, I've already had um, a caramel bar and jelly bellies today so um mustn't have any more sweet treats <laughs> trying to eke eke it out that's going to go there and let's use up these last few pop them there and I've got an odd one and I've got a little um box that I keep little odd odd bling it's not easy to say odd like embellishments so I keep them in there and then I add them on clusters and stuff um, yeah I've got a little system so we've got that couple walking in the rain looks like London because that looks like Big Ben right and I'm on the last card so yeah, I got through it a bit quicker than I was thinking because I've only been on 47 minutes, it says. <laughs> I don't know how these people do, because I've seen, uh, what is her, I don't know her proper name, but 70 Acres Studio and she's got some videos that are like three hours long and I just think, I can't think of anything that I make or stuff for three hours. So I don't know how she does it. An hour is enough for me there. Thank you, Dawn. So I'll, I'll do a flip through of them again. So in case anybody missed some that I was doing. Oh, Galaxy, yum, yum. <laughs> but Margie, that doesn't really help yourself if you spite yourself on a craft ban. <laughs> I might just have to come and have words with you. <laughs> it's lucky you don't live near me then. <laughs> You'd be a bad influence. <laughs> yes, Margie, it's a really lovely um, milk chocolate. It's um really nice galaxy. Sausages, come here. Yeah, another word I say if I'm cross rather than being rude is sausages. Um, if my grandma was really cross, she used to go, Oh, Christmas, so we knew something wasn't right if she said, Oh, Christmas. Um, right, that's going to go there. And then I, because this, this is really lovely, cause this um, sheet was, because it's got very slight tones of pinks and um, purples in it, even with the red. So it was quite nice, This uh, these few cards, because I didn't have to use the traditional colours or anything. So it really made a lovely, lovely change to um, not be doing reds and greens. Yeah, see, it's got quite an effect to it, Margie, because you go, oh, sausages, and just all the S's and stuff in it. It's quite effective. <laughs> and then if you're cross with yourself or think somebody's been a wally, you call them a plum. <laughs> or a muppet. <laughs> so it's not like you're being really rude, but... um. 
I must say I buy an awful lot of stuff online like eBay or I'll buy it directly from the actual company rather than these um, you know selling channels because we've got a couple here we've got Create and Craft, there's Honchiander, I think I've said that right, and I'd much rather buy direct from the person. Yeah, because your Tim Holtz stuff is so much cheaper than over here. So if I ever come over to the States, I am going to be topping up on certain things, especially like the yarn. Right, so that's going to go over there. Oh, get off. Yeah, I'd definitely be a shopaholic if I lived in the States. It would be very dangerous to my purse. There. Everything's a bit on the bonk tonight. My eyesights are on the bonk. And then I'll put that little one there. Yeah, I think I might do clusters next week. I need to um, top up my cluster box. That's going to go there. Uh, Oh, I've got some pink, pinky bling, they're well, not pinky bling, pinky pearls, right, pokey tool, come here, but pink, oh you lucky girl Dawn, yeah Canada's definitely um, on my bucket list, it's something we would like to do as a family do um you know go round on a train and stuff yes yeah um crafting vicky always says that canada's not cheap so when she goes to the states she likes to um go to the um dollar tree and stuff she says it's cheaper than that one right so I'll just do some of that's like the last one and I'll just do a reminder on the others Oops, without knocking everything over so that's the last one I've just done and I mean in case any of you missed any and then there was that one so then I'll have the fun of bagging them up and making envelopes like because I've done these two little ones so I'll have to make envelopes for them this one's going to be for my own use because it's so bulky and I don't want to share everything <laughs> and then we had a lot of I had a lot of reindeer ones that's quite a a lot of um, reindeer and then another one I need to make an envelope for but I love making envelopes and pockets and I made some pockets out of um, playing cards I folded them and made tuck spots and stuff so yeah that is my stash of cards um, I'll show you the tags that I've made they'll be going on Etsy someone next week. Oops, uh, that a landslide. So I used um, for a lot of it stamping up items. So there's quite a few of these in a pack. And then of course, because it's stamping up, I have to put the little stamping up image on the back. So I've made so there'll be ten in the pack of that. So I've used a mixture of papers and stuff. Uh, yeah landslide going on here so yeah I've made two little stashes of that so yeah um, just something I did when I couldn't sleep got up did some stamping and punched out and then used some twine from fantastic ribbon so there's two lots like that and then 
Ooh. Then I've got a little die that does these dinky ones. So I sort of went in my stash and found some little embellishments. So yeah, 10, 10 tags in a pack. So I'll be selling them for a pound a pack. Oh, thank you, Kylie. So yeah, I've just been using up odds and ends and stuff. So I normally make a little pile of things and then I sit and list them, put the radio on loud or put a CD in loud and do, do that. <laughs> so with my wonky eyes, it was Pound World that went out of business, Kylie. Yeah, it was Pound World. We didn't have any down where I am at all. So, um, yeah, my wonky eyes and your funny typing, we're a good pair. <laughs> I think as the stuff was pre-done, Dawn, it wasn't so bad. It's not like I was sitting here cutting it and stuff. <laughs> So it, it made it fairly quick, but I actually prepped more than I did last time. So it took nearly an hour, so it was about the right amount. And I find after an hour of um, doing a video, it's it's enough for me. And then a little chat before I disappear, I think it's, yeah, it seems to suit me an hour. Because then in, I sort of go and either the veg out on the sofa or... Tonight I'm going to have a nice, um, nice cool in the, um, not cool bath, nice sort of soak in the tub and put my good old PJs on and watch some telly and hopefully sleep. <laughs> because I've slept a bit during the day, I'm going to try and sleep, stay up a bit later. But um, yeah, I find an hour of doing this is, I think it's enough for everybody. You know, you've... Um, I think an hour's enough. I'm, I have hobby craft in the range near to me. Yeah, so I have hobby craft and the range and they're both about half an hour from me, so it's not that bad. Oh, you have no telly. So you watch a lot of YouTube then, Dawn? Oh, I, I, I couldn't be without telly. It would drive me potty. Definitely couldn't be without telly. It's, the range is really nice. They have a craft section and they also like have home goods, gardening section and stuff like that. But yeah, I um I love it. Hobbycraft, um their actual head office is like I said, half an hour from me. That's that was their starting point. And then they sort of grew from there. Um I suppose having YouTube's really handy because um, sometimes I'll watch stuff in bed because I haven't got a telly in my bedroom and I know I'm really lucky to have a telly but that was thanks to my brother buying that for me as a housewarming gift so that's really kind of him. So um, yeah, I've got a telly to hear <laughs> thanks to him. I think it's mainly when he comes over from Australia he can come and watch sport on it. <laughs> So um, I think that's I think that's mainly why he got me a better telly so he could come and watch sport on it. I've said I don't mind Formula One being on there, but I'm not um, I'm not into like cricket and stuff like that. Well, that's cool. Yeah, I must admit watching stuff like that's good. So right, I'm just sorting my desk out because if I don't get it tidy, it will drive me natty. <laughs> So I'm just looking at my um, heat gun and I just noticed I've got a load of paint on it and I thought, shades I've used it well. 
Oh, I'm, I'm sure I will. If the worst happens, I'll just have to go into a... Yes. Yeah, they do. <laughs> My brother um, played rugby a lot, so he's got a, a rugby build. So, but he always says he's got chunky thighs, and I said women will love that. You know, he's six foot two, dark hair. Um, not just because he's my brother, but he's um, an attractive lad. <laughs> yes, it's been lovely chatting to you all. Yeah, it's been lovely. Yeah, my brother's six foot two, dark hair. And because he's always out in the sun, he's very tanned. You know, he's got a nice, nice build to him. But he's in Australia, Dawn. <laughs> He's in Melbourne, so you'd have to go over there. <laughs> what year is it? It's 2018, so he's 38. You too, Margie. <laughs> yeah, he's 38, Dawn. <laughs> but he looks about 40, so, you know, early 40s. I'm going to say goodnight, everybody. Um, and thank you all for joining me. And... I will look forward to seeing you next week, hopefully. Oh, this auto blinking crap. So, yeah, I'm going to say good night and I will see you next week. Take care, everyone. Bye.